input tax credit or ITC. So let us see what is the meaning of this and then we can go for the problems based on this input tax credit. So in different way they will ask. So input tax credit, this means while paying the tax on sale. So of goods and services you can avail some tax exemptions. For example, a person spend 1000 rupees to buy. So the tax is 12%. A person or a dealer, let us say man, uh, one dealer purchased one good for 1000 rupees and spent 12% tax. That means from this 1000, 12% tax he has to pay. So that is the input. Input tax. So 12% of 1000, right? So 12 divided by 100 into 1000. So it is obviously 120. So 120 rupees is the input. So input tax. Now same by getting profit or by reselling for other next customer he spend of 1500. 1500 is gave the amount next time with again same 12 percent. So here in this case out of 1500 we can calculate the tax. So this output. Output is same 12% of 1500 that is 12 into 15 because by 100 0 0 cancel. So 15 into 12 so 180. So instead of paying second time 180 you will get exemption this 120. So 180 minus 120 only this 60 rupees so only is supposed to pay to the government. So when you see the terms. The input tax includes actually this uh, central tax, state tax and IGST according to the intrastate or interstate. So paid on input goods, input services etc. But only as some registered persons is entitled to take credit of input tax charged on the supply of the goods. So who is the dealers or traders, manufacturers. So except the end user then reselling so they will get some tax exemptions. So in export of goods GST is not payable. So these things let us see with some examples you will get more idea about input tax how the questions will come and what are the things we need to take care in this uh, exam or uh, some problems let us see one by one.